bug ants. Yeah. If they're not using that sugar water like they should, I may end up having to take it out again because they tried to, uh, they weren't using it before and the freaking ants were everywhere. So, see, I don't need anything else in there. Ants, little old bitty, I mean, I don't think those are a problem other than just being kind of a pain. There's a bigger red ant. He might be a problem. Not just him, his buddies. Is hmm. Uh, beginning to wonder if somebody's coming out here and messing with my hive. I mean, I don't know who would be brave enough to mess with a beehive. Yeah, no. There. Oh, you know what? I left the other jar of syrup at the truck. Yep, I sure did. Pick these up on my way through. Thought I would go back to the truck before I did my other one, but there's really not any sense in it other than this. <laughs> really not hot today it's humid overcast so they're not very active at all today which on one hand is a good thing on the other hand you like to see them active especially when they have work to do drawing out comb Last couple of inspections, these things have really been a booger to get out. Alright, let's see. Well, they're chaining a little. Maybe that means they're gonna start drawing that out doesn't appear so looks like they're just kind of chilling out on that bar one thing I can say about this colony is they propolize It's dead now. There's another one. Give me room. 
they're chaining on it, but they, it doesn't appear that they're doesn't appear that they're building comb. Another hive beetle. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about uh, hive beetles here. Whoop! That one flew off. Uh, I assumed they could fly, but had never seen one fly. Hmm. Okay. They might be. No, I think more. I think that's more propolis than than anything else. They don't like that smoke. Alright, this is the one that, the last one that they had been drawn out. Looks like there's a little more comb than there was. Not just, maybe not. They're chaining like they're trying, but they're not doing it very quickly. I'm not even going to check, see what's in it. There's not enough to make any difference anyway. Okay, y'all going to have to move out of the way. Okay, 16, the one that has the, or had the queen cups, is the last narrow bar, or the brood bar, as I call them. So, let's see what they've been up to. I actually waited longer than I wanted to to check. It's been right out a week. Actually, I think it's eight days, but I sure wanted to get this done before this. Nectar. A little capped honey. A lot of nectar. I'm hoping they're going to put up their stores for the winter. Again. Get out of the way. Thank you. The comb is kind of crooked here on the end. This hive has done this from day one. Tried to... Uh, Ooh, that's full of honey. Nectar. She's not coming back this far. Which is a good thing. A lot of honey on that one. Oh. That's brand new comb. Nice pretty comb full of honey. How good would that be in a cut off and in a jar? But they need it more than, my, than I do, so... They're gonna keep it this winter. And to be honest with you, I mean, I like the top bar hives because of the, to me, it just seems more natural. But I don't see how you get much honey from them. I mean, if they have to have a certain, that certain amount of honey, they, See, that's drone brood on the bottom of that one. Honey on the top. Same here. Bunch of drones, too. I see a bunch of drones. But I don't... No queen. Two more till we get to the queen cells. When I see the queen and find those queen cells and see how they're doing, I may button this thing back up. Just going about my business. That is, they're going back in with that nectar in that one. Bunch of drones. I can see them. Let's see if they're chaining on the bottom like they're trying to. Extend the comb or something. Probably you can probably hear my smoker popping over there. That those uh, pine um, 
wood pellets that I use. They've, evidently they've got a lot of rosin or whatever you want to call it in it and they uh, they spit and pop some when they once they get going real good. A lot of honey, a lot of drone brood. Man, that and the queen cells, queen cups make me think they're trying to gonna try to swarm on me. A lot of drone. They're putting that. I've seen that called a communication hole or whatever. That wasn't in there last time, as far as I can remember. So. And now the moment of truth. See what they have done with the uh, the bar that was that had the queen cups on it. Oh, it's light. Well. <laughs> I swear if they would quit goofing around and changing up stuff all the time they would be able to draw out comb they've almost I thought they had taken these out no egg no egg no egg no egg no egg there was one over here too yep no egg I don't know if she just hasn't found it yet or if she's like uh -uh, ain't happening but to me those look like queen cups like they're trying to get her to lay in that seeing more hive beetles than I have been I may have to do something about this hive beetles Alright, queen cups are still queen cups, no eggs, no larva, no royal jelly, so now I'm on the hunt for the queen. Lots of brood, she's still working. Lots of brood, I love seeing that. Oh yeah, she's been a good queen. That's why I'm curious on why in the world they would try to either supersede her or swarm maybe they just are doing their thing doing what organisms do they reproduce and the hive is is an organism in itself and if they want to reproduce and make more hives that's our colonies that's what they do so but hopefully oh there's a lot of brood in that too and it's good brood it's worker brood which makes me happy but I do wish they'd quit putting up drone cells and practicing on those queen cups because it makes me nervous I don't have to I usually check on them more frequently enough to stop a swarm or 
over to uh, catch it before they really get to going with it. But it's just one more thing I don't want to have to worry about. Well, those two fit together good. Boy, that's light. It's all hatched out. Most of it, anyway. What hasn't hatched out is not far from hatching. So she's probably worked her way back up to the front. Oh, there's another stinking. No egg, no larva, no royal jelly. And that's another one that I have to worry about keeping up with. That was on 13, so 16 and 13. I should have brought my Sharpie. I mean, do I have my Sharpie? I've got a paint pen, but I don't have a Sharpie. I need my Sharpie. I need my Sharpie so I can write down. One thing I saw, I'm not sure if it was. Oh, there's another cell right there. Maybe that's a drone cell. I saw somewhere somebody had painted a uh, chalkboard paint on the top of their bars. That way they could go through with a with either piece of chalk or chalk, chalk marker and say, you know, a Q on the, the bars that had queen cells and D for the ones that had drone cells and that kind of stuff to kind of keep up with it. I have to go back and look on the videos. I'm not very good about writing stuff down. A lot of drone brood on there that's all getting old. They're going to hatch out soon all the other stuff's hatched out don't see any don't see any eggs yeah that was a drone cell don't see any eggs of course they haven't it hasn't been that long these I think these hatched out so Come on, get out of the way. Still on the hunt for the queen. She's working because I found a couple of bars that are really packed full of brood. There's another freaking queen cup. I would kind of, I kind of would like to make a split. I don't know, it's, it's kind of late in the year to be doing that. So that's why, that's the only reason that I haven't pinched them or taken them off or whatever. Because, oh, well, that one looks like you were trying to close it. No, no egg, no larva, no, no royal jelly. So. No queen. A couple of puffs. Keep them all honest. I think I just smashed another one. That is all brood. A lot of both broods on that one. Sure is getting overcast here. I don't want this thing to be open when it starts raining. There's regular brood, drone brood, and another freaking a 10. That was on 11. So 10, 11, 13, and 16 have queen cups. That one's empty too. 
Okay, that's good. Uh, okay. Man, I wish I would. Smash so many bees. A lot of worker brood and drone brooders. Drone about to hatch out right there. All those are about to hatch. You can see them. The cap's getting very thin on them. So. We can. Y'all gonna have to move. Okay. That's. Oh, worker brood there. My goodness. It looks like way from here anyway. So, 10, 11, 13, 16. 10, 11, 13, 16. I have to remember that. Worker brood. Love seeing that. Worker brood. Queen so far. Whew, it's the end heavy. There's another freaking queen cup. Two of them. Oh boy. Okay. Hmm. So 9, 10, 11, 13, and 16. Golly. That's a newbie. That was odd. What is that? What? You see that? She doesn't have any wings. It's the first one I've seen like that. I gotta keep an eye out for something like that. I'm not sure if that's that's got anything to do with foul brood or some other kind of disease but and she just walked off the end of the hive onto the ground so Farewell to her. That kind of makes me nervous. Yeah, that makes me nervous. I had never seen a bee like that. I thought she was a newborn, but uh, I've never seen a newborn with no wings. see any eggs okay please tell me she's up closer to the front moving her way back because it's starting to make me nervous now I'm not seeing any eggs not seeing any there's another one it's empty but there's another one eight nine ten eleven thirteen and sixteen They're working overtime to make queen cups. Hmm.
Oh, thank you, God. <laughs> larva. We have larva. We have babies. So, she is working. It is, I guess you would call it cool today. The sun's not out. Every now and then I'll get a little puff of a nice cool breeze on me. To them, I'm sure it's frigid. So I need to get this done and get out of here. That's why they're not that active. Plus the, uh, it's getting really overcast, really threatening rain right now. And I don't want to get caught up here in it. And I don't want this hive to be open when it does. A lot of brood. I like seeing that. Larva. Wonderful. Um, a lot of brood. Still looking for the queen. I don't want her to fly off because I got her out in the cold. So I'm going to try to try to get them back in the pretty quick a lot of brood I have to say they're getting more active. Oh, there's another one. Golly. It's empty. Five. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen. Sixteen. Yes, I could. I didn't even set up my camera very well today. A lot of brood are going back with a little nectar in there. Come on. I don't see her. A lot of we're putting bee bread in the, the end of that. That's why it's kind of wobbly. I'm getting the end heavy. I almost broke one off last week doing the inspection because it was nothing on the top and just solid bee bread on the bottom. So these last three here have typically been bee bread maybe she's using the for drone uh, brood still didn't see her bee bread that's all there is there and it's getting end heavy again huh? see I can't hold them 
straight up because it, if it gets any kind of off balance it'll break off nothing on top be bread on the bottom I don't see the queen it's starting to make me nervous but I have seen I have gone through inspections before and not found the queen so maybe too a little too premature to, to panic at the moment Drone brood, bee bread. Well, she would be farther back. Nope, there she is right there. Woo! What are you doing on the bee bread, lady? Get back there where there's some room where you can put up some brood. She's been a good worker, though. I can't complain, so I'm not going to. puffs get those down in there and I am going to button it up I'm not even gonna to try to pull out that last one Move. Well, oh, there's a smashed one. All right, I'm tight fit, but it went in. I'm starting to see more stinking hive beetles. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Come on, one more, two more. Y'all get out. Go, get. All right, y'all stay out while I shut it up. All right, I need to make sure, double sure today that I lock it up latch it anyway <laughs> 